even when things are literally going up in flames in our personal lives, you know, rescuing dogs never stops. And thankfully, Lizzie was back in the office this morning. Oh, he's handsome. Who is he? He just came. He looks so healthy. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, he knows how to sit. Seems like he's someone's dog. Earl, is he neutered? Yeah, he empty. Let's make sure. He empty. Okay, yeah. Wonder if somebody like found him and tied him up or stole him? Couldn't have been, because they wouldn't have left no food and water. So somebody that cared about him. I think it was. All right, well, let's see if he has a microchip. Oh, that was fast. What? Yep. You have a microchip. That's good. Th this whole story was a complete mystery. He's neutered, he's in good shape, He's he looks healthy, and he's microchipped, but someone tied him up. Why, why do all these things for him and then just walk away from him? Hi, um, my name is Lizzie. I'm calling from Villalobos Rescue Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. Hey, what is the microchip number? After I spoke to the microchip company, they told me that his real name was Chapatulis, which is a street in New Orleans, and that his owners actually call him Chop. Yes, how old is he? We have him at six years, nine months old. The microchip company left a voicemail on the owner's voicemail. Oh, and they're calling me. Okay. And not even a minute later, my phone rings. Hi, Lizzie. Yes, this is Lizzie. This is John. I believe you found my dog. Yeah, well, actually, we didn't find him. He was tied up right on our facility property. Wow. He was definitely our dog. He has not been in my care for about four months now. We rehomed him because we moved to Fort Worth, Texas. We put an ad on Craigslist, and someone else had come and pick up the dog. How long did you have him before you rehomed him? I've had him his whole life. I had him for 16 weeks. It was really hard for me not to be judgmental. We worked so hard to find the perfect home for these dogs, and it shouldn't be as easy as just posting an ad on Craigslist as if they were a piece of furniture. Um, but I don't like what I'm hearing if the dog is tied up somewhere. We actually have the space for him. So I would like to reclaim the dog if you guys don't have a problem with that. I just need to speak with my boss about the the whole situation. So let me do that, and then I can get back in contact with you. All right. Well, I appreciate that, Lizzie. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. I mean, what? honestly, oh, like I'm wow. torn. Like he does sound like he cares about the dog, but he's had him for almost seven years, and you just put an ad up on Craigslist. Like, sorry, it's hard for me to like have sympathy for you or like feel sorry for that. I don't, like, I, that's just something I would never do. I'm gonna call Tia and get her opinion. Once I got the full story from the owner, I had no idea what to do. I was so completely torn on what to think. Hey. It's definitely not a decision that I can make on my own. Someone tied a dog to our fence, but it was microchipped? Yeah, microchipped and neutered, and he had food and water. And now they're yeah. saying that they want him back. I, I, like, what do I do with that? That's an interesting one. My knee-jerk reaction was to say, no, you got rid of him. And then you just start to think, I've made decisions in my life that I regretted. You know, legally, he is considered our dog. OK. So here's what you need to do. Let him know that if he wants his dog, he just needs to come here and talk to me face to face. OK, all right, that's what I'll say then. Bye. Bye. Part of me wanting to meet Chop's owner face to face was a test of wanting to see what his reaction would be. I wanted to look him in the eye. I wanted to see what he would say. I wanted to feel the sincerity. I'm a good boy. Hi. Hi, how you doing? What's your name? John is my name. John, yes, hi. Man. When I initially got the call that someone had found uh, my dog, I was in the Dominican Republic. I uh, actually celebrating an anniversary with my wife. Have a seat. On the way back in Atlanta, we had a layover, and um, I just rented a car and drove straight here. Um, so, anyways, I got you know bits and pieces of what happened. I, I can the piece whole story. it all together. Okay, good. Maybe Thank you. fill in Thank the you. spot. I mean, we we've had uh, Chapatula since he was 16 weeks. Love the dog. We've had him ever since. 
Around the end of last year, I got a position in Texas, so that's where we moved. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a place for him. We were going into an apartment that didn't seem fair for a dog of his size. We thought that we would not be able to, you know, properly take care of him, and we wanted to see him go into a good home, so we found someone to take him. Uh, it was like a family or a couple? No, we, this? we actually put an ad out. Got a guy to respond to it. He came over, the dog took to him. We made the difficult decision to find a different home for him. And uh, immediately after we moved, within a month, we had a house, a yeah. uh, big backyard. So that's what really created the remorse is. Because you, you ended up finding a solution. We could have boarded the yeah. dog for a couple of weeks yeah. and then been OK. Yeah. It grew increasingly more difficult as it set in that we started to miss a, a part of our family. When they said tied up, you look yeah. like automatically I'm thinking neglect, abuse. Yeah. Nah, no. And so good. I start boiling, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so yeah. was he was he uh, panting hard? Was he in the sun? There was sun coming up, and then they had a bowl of water, and like they had dumped some food on the ground. The gentleman who we relinquished the dog to, I had his phone number. He had my information, and he didn't contact me. Obviously, I mean, we let, we let our dog go, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so there's really no way to like, you know, justify it yeah. other than the situation at the time called for it. Right. You know, maybe this guy realized he did what he thought was right at the time. Now he regrets it. That's what made me kind of go, you know what? Put yourself in his spot, Tia. Have you ever done something that you said, crap, I wish I hadn't done that? And the answer would be yes, I have. Uh oh. Who is that? Hey, I told y'all knew where What's he was going at. On, man? What's up? Uh, to, look, look, straight at that. Wish, look at him. Oh, she's excited now. Happy. Oh, hey, Chop. Look at that. Look at him. Oh, man, when Chop first walked in the gate, it was such a, such a special moment. He came right in and went straight for my daughter. To see them reunited was really something special. It was surreal. I was relieved seeing him run straight to my daughter like nothing ever happened. Come on, Chop. I was really excited that he remembered Cadence and Cadence remembered Chop. This is too much, Aww. buddy. You gonna hug him? He was so excited. I knew we were making the right decision. Do you see this dog right now? How happy he is? Chappy! To wrestle with this decision over the past eight months and feel as if you made a choice that probably wasn't the most beneficial for the family, it's a hard thing to, re to deal with. Thank you. If you guys need anything, let me know. Right now, I'm feeling great. Uh, our family's been reunited. It feels like uh, like the puzzle's been completed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last kiss. Bye, kid. <laughs>